Yo, welcome back to another CBL video, week six of Rookie to Runner, and I've got some bad news. I have f***ed it. Cancel the marathon? I'm not doing it. Take your money back, I don't care about the donations. I'm not doing it. What have I just f***ing said? I'm not doing it. Fucking. I've lost my head. Right now, my knee is on par with your nans. Buckled. Chuck me the Zimmer frame. Today I was supposed to go rock climbing, but I can barely climb up the stairs. I've got to get this knee fixed ASAP. It's got to be done. So today is the road to recovery. I mean, it's not that I'm over exaggerating it. It's not that bad. I just don't want to make it any worse and be out for a few weeks. So we're gonna we're gonna fix this. We're gonna sort this out. So let's get this recovery started. Right, it's Tuesday. The resurrection. The return of. Christ himself. There's a slight chance I may have over-exaggerated the knee. A s maybe. After chilling out yesterday and trying to sort this knee out, I do feel up for it, mate. I feel up for it. I'm game. I'm like a slut on a night out. I'm up for it. Today is a running day, but the plan is, before I go for the run, is to take Louis out for a walk down the field and test the knee. See how we're getting on. I'm supposed to be going five miles, but I might bang it down to three. My mum told me to, so I might have to listen to her, because I don't want to overdo it. I've got a long run on Sunday, I've got other runs in the week, and I don't want to jump back into training, full training, so soon, and fuck myself. I'm out with the boy, here he is. This is the test to see how strong I am. So far, so good. I'll be honest with you, I picked the wrong shoes. Fucking hell. I am so lucky that this field is like a two second walk from my house. It's just beautiful. <laughs> It really is beautiful. The problem with Louis is because he's such a big dog, other dogs find him really intimidating and they always want to scrap him. So we're about to see what happens here with this little Jack Russell. I've got a five on Louis spark at him, I'll be honest. Oh, he's nice and white. He is now. Right, we're lucky Louis didn't unleash there because see his paw was up. Yeah, that's pretty much like he's cocking back the jab. So we're lucky that little mongrel thing survived today. Come on, mate. What's happening? <laughs> Louis, stop, stop, stop. Don't go over them, because you'll fall straight through. When he was a puppy, he fell straight through one of these. Nearly lost him forever. Oh, look at the kicks. Oh, fucking hell. I'm going to try and jog a little bit, see how this knee feels. Right now, it feels a bit rough, I'll be honest. Anyone watching this that lives in the city and doesn't have this sort of view to look at, I feel sorry for you, generally. I know. What has happened to you? Mum is going to hit the roof. Oh no, Louis, look at his belly. Right, we're out here running 1.2 into the three mile run. I couldn't sit at home. I couldn't do it. And to be fair, I feel good. The start was iffy, but we're into it now. We're warm, it's calm. It was definitely the right decision to go. I haven't done a night run in ages, so it is nice. I run done, 26, 18. Probably the slowest three miles I've done. My knee felt all right. There were some bits and I was thinking, oh, I shouldn't have done this. But then I think about someone else and the pain goes. Even though you need to rest, you can tell that some of it's, some of it's in your head. Now, I'm gonna go scran a roast dinner and chill out. Put my leg up. <laughs> right, and it's Wednesday. We're about halfway through the working week. Anybody having a bit of a shit week? Stay positive, nearly the weekend. Unless you're watching this on a Monday, then. <laughs> the knee, nearly back to 100%. I will share with you the secret, which is, Definitely, definitely work wonders. And it's foam rolling your quads. Oh, wait! It worked, it did really work. It said on Google to do it, so I did it. Jesus Christ, I felt like I was getting abused. But it's fine, because my knee doesn't hurt. So, the plan is, I'm gonna ease myself back into doing stuff. And I'm gonna do that by going rock climbing. And you might be thinking, Cal, you're gonna fuck it up again. Do me a favor, keep your opinions to yourself, man. I don't wanna hear it. Before I go, last thing. If anybody has been keeping up to date with these videos, you will know that I have said in previous videos that I need a new jacket, quarter zip thing. Today it came. Check it out. Swagged out to the max, mate. So yeah, new quarter zip. I've got this in yellow. Now I've got it in black.
Right, it's Thursday. <laughs> Psych! What, 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 what? You think I'm some sort of bitch? I'm 90% back. That little 10%. I reckon it's the mind game. That 10% is the mind game. So today, we've got a six mile run. I am really looking forward to going. It's a beautiful evening. I'll see how the run goes, but I want to go gym later as well. I haven't gone to the gym this week because holding the big heavy weights, and trust me, they're very heavy. It's too much pressure on the knee, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to take the piss. So yeah, we'll go for a run, see how it goes. I'm pumped up, I'm excited, I've had a coffee, and I feel like I'm gonna shit myself, so let's go. Stop, I'm very quickly gonna interrupt this video. I am raising money for the West Midlands Air Ambulance Service. My GoFundMe page is linked in the description. My goal was 500 pound. It's been destroyed. Next goal, 1,000 pound. If you have already donated, I really appreciate you, and if you are able to, please do it. It's for a good cause. I'm running my ass off to try and raise money. So yeah, link in the description. Thank you very much. Back on with a video. Love. Right, first mile done, 8.05. I didn't realize I was running in the fucking Antarctic. It's cold. It's really cold. And holding this, it's not what I want to be doing. The knee, I can feel there's a slight niggle, but there's absolutely no reason why I shouldn't be running. That's my mindset anyway. So five more to go, three miles in, halfway. The knee's trying it. It's trying it, but I'm not letting it. There's no chance. It's in my best interest and my knee's best interest to just chill out because I'm not going to stop running. Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to have a word with it. We'll see what it says. <laughs> Run done, six miles in 46, 49. It's not actually that bad. My five mile best time is 37. So add on nine minutes for another mile. It's not, it's not the best, but I'm not 100% fit right now. The knee towards the end was sweet as, but the first three miles, I think I was thinking about it too much. As soon as I got it out of my head, it pretty much sorted itself out. I'm gonna get home, seriously stretch out, get the foam roller on it. And then tonight, we're going to the gym. We just keep going, don't we, you know what I mean? The only thing that can stop you is you. It is Friday. It has come to my attention that I have not respected my knee. Not one bit. On Sunday, I've got a 14 mile run and I am doing that run 100%. So I need my knee to play the game. I will rest you, look after you, treat you like a queen, man. But on Sunday, I need you to work for me. I need rest, ice and elevation. I call it Reese. And also I'm going to go to the gym tonight, but I don't want to take the piss, but I also don't want to be lazy and do nothing. So I'm going to meet in the middle, we're chilling, and then we're gymming. Have a lovely weekend, everybody. It's not my knee. 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 Look how red my cheeks are. The heating is blasting me about. Right, it's Saturday, and as I'm sure you've just heard, it's not my knee. The pain in my leg isn't my knee. I was foam rolling yesterday, and a pain that I can only describe as death come upon me. Here in the back of my quad, there is something going on here which is sending shockwaves to my knee. 
So we need to sort this out. I'm gonna have to deal with that later because right now I've got a three mile run. Warms myself for the 14 miler tomorrow. Just ease yourself into things. And then as soon as I'm done with the run, straight to the gym to train arms with the boys. Today's gonna be a good day. Um, yeah. First mile done, 7.43. Some of you might be thinking, Cal, you wore that top to the gym yesterday. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. A little light three miles today, nothing major. Two to go. Bloody. Hell, whoo, 2218, not bad, not bad. I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Now, I need to eat and straight to the gym. No stopping, no stopping. Right, and it's Sunday. Long run day. Long cock day as well. My dick's 10 inches bigger, it's weird. Last night, I went uptown with the boys on a night out. Completely stone cold sober. It was weird. Everybody was on a wave, and I was most certainly not on any sort of wave. But it went better than expected. But I'm not drinking. I'm dedicated to this marathon. And anything that's going to hold me back... Ah! Anyway, 14 mile run. The furthest that I've ever run. I want to do it in under two hours. That's worst case scenario. I've got a little goal in mind. I'm not going to share it again. I don't want to put the pressure on. But yeah, under two hours would be perfect. I'm ready. I'm fit. I'm healthy. I'm going to stretch. The leg feels good. Touch wood. It's okay at the moment. But without further ado, let's go smash the shit out of this 14 mile run. As Delia Smith would say, let's be fucking avenue. First mile done. 13 more to go. <laughs> that is fucking ridiculous. I did it in 8.18. Nice little pace. I tell you what, I am glad I never had a beer last night. That's the power of the mind right there. I am more than ready to fuck this runner. Let's keep going and see what my half marathon time is as well. Quarter of the way done, three and a half miles, just over 28 minutes. So I've worked it out that I'm looking at like just over an hour 50 finish if I keep this pace, which I'll be so happy with but I'm chasing out half a marathon time. I've got a couple friends that have done it. I know their time. I want to beat them. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna keep going, but I feel good. I feel very good. Halfway, 56 minutes in. We are getting a sub two hour, 14 mile run today. I'm feeling good, but I don't want to start gassing out. I've been doing lots of under eight minute miles, which is quick for me. But yeah, we're halfway. Everyone else is hung over right now. Feeling like shit, sore throat from smoking, and I'm out here running like a twat. <laughs> Let's get it, man. 10 miles done in an hour and 20 on the dot. 3.1 to go for the half marathon. I won it in an hour and 45, so I've got 25 minutes to do three miles. Well, just over. But then also, after I've got that, I've got to keep running for another 0.9 of a mile to get the 14. <laughs> Right, I've had to stop. There's the half marathon time. I did it, I did it, I did it. I had to stop because I couldn't run and film, but I'm pretty sure that said hour 43 for the half marathon. I'm done. I'm done. 14 miles, an hour 50. I am fucking knackered. That last 0.9 of a mile was an absolute killer. I've never ran where my legs actually feel like they're fixed to the floor. Like I give everything for that. I give everything. Half a marathon, an hour 43. <laughs> oh, I'm so buzzing. I worked so hard for that. I deserve that. And just to let you know, previously when I said my mates have done this and I want to beat them, yes, I did beat them. <laughs> I'm aware that you only race yourself and doing silly things in training can ruin the actual marathon, but I'm a sicko and I want to beat everyone, but it's not important. <laughs> I say this every Sunday, but it's all in your mind. If you want it, you can do it. 
but I ain't got time to be motivational right now. I'm gonna go chill out, sit down, relax. <sighs> I'm fucked. Right, and that is the end of week six. After the run, by far the worst pain I've been in throughout this whole training. Got a really good time for the half marathon, which I am so buzzing with. Next week, I'm really gonna focus on my stretching to try and release whatever pain is in this leg. And as always, if you did enjoy the video, please leave it a like, rate, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I am raising money for the West Midlands Air Ambulance Service. If you have already donated, thank you very much. And if you are able to, please do. It's for a good cause. And yeah, we're raising money, we're running far, and we're running fast. Thank you very much, and I'll see you all next week when Wednesday, 7 p.m. Safe. My legs, my legs, my legs, my legs. Feel like I've been hit by a bus.